It is a time-honored formula used by some supplement manufacturers. Recognize a health issue that is of concern to lots of people. Search the scientific literature for studies that have explored possible treatments, especially ones that have investigated natural substances. Natural is a great marketing term because the wellness industry has been successful with getting out the message that Mother Nature knows best and that natural substances are inherently safer than synthetics. Conveniently forgotten are the natural bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites that decimate populations, and the synthetic drugs that save lives. Then, should a study be found that has explored some natural substance as a possible treatment for the condition in question, run with it, no matter how poor the study may be. Even if the findings are negative, you can claim the product has been clinically studied. And if there is a grain of evidence, use that to build a mountain. These days, the hottest drug is semaglutide, the active ingredient in Ozempic. It was originally developed for type 2 diabetes based on its ability to simulate the action of GLP-1, a hormone secreted by intestinal cells that then triggers the release of insulin by the pancreas when food enters the intestine. An unexpected side effect of semaglutide was the reduction of appetite, obviously welcome in an effort to lose weight. However, Ozempic is a prescription drug and is expensive, so that makes for an attractive opportunity for supplement producers to come up with a supplement that can be passed off as an Ozempic mimic. Kourtney Kardashian's company, Lemmy, has seized the opportunity and has introduced GLP-1 Daily, a dietary supplement that claims to reduce cravings and manage weight. So what does it contain? There is no GLP-1. Inclusion would not be possible because GLP-1 is a peptide that is quickly broken down in the body. Indeed, the secret behind Ozempic is a modification of GLP-1 that prevents it from being broken down while still maintaining its biological activity. After scrutinizing the literature, Kardashian's company came up with a mixture of natural compounds extracted from lemon peel, saffron, and blood orange. The lemon peel extract is based on a study that found some elevation of GLP-1 in the blood and an improvement in some diabetes-related biomarkers. It had nothing to do with weight loss. The saffron study also looked at diabetes markers but made no mention of GLP-1 or weight loss. The blood orange study doesn't mention GLP-1 either, but does show a slight weight loss, quote, in conjunction with diet and exercise. Furthermore, these studies had few subjects, and the results shown are barely statistically significant. The GLP-1 that adorns the label is misleading as is the statement that the ingredients have been clinically studied. Yes, they have been studied, but the studies do not back up the claim of reducing cravings and managing weight. The label also mentions that the ingredients are, quote, patented bioflavonoids, which is meaningless, given that the patents have nothing to do with GLP-1. But most importantly, the Lemmy product has not been subjected to any clinical tests that would prove efficacy. If anyone is looking to enrich Kourtney Kardashian's coffers, then this is the product to buy. But if the search is for an effective weight loss method, it is best to look elsewhere. That for today is our Cup of Joe.